Hello everyone, Kevin here, one of the Paradox Twins with Team Ham, bringing you my standard list that I took to Kali. Um, I'll talk more about rounds later, I'm going to talk about my deck lineup and then some other options to consider and then I'll talk about that. So you can see my deck here if you install you want, there you go. Um, so for the right line I went Pure and this is just for consistency, I wanted a guarantee rear guard attack and I wanted a guarantee assault whenever I needed them. Then um, I'll talk about their effects too. So five burger if you're unaware for some reason, he is a on attack CV1. Three battles I draw, four battles I retire to, fifth battle plus ten, and you have to drop three to guard. Then assault is a rear guard skill. When he attacks, I may counter uh, counter bust one with my other rear guard attacks, and then we stand him. Then he has this effect that um, when he's in soul. You can rebuild an inroad or a fiber and call him out, or you can soul bust one and call him out. Then I run the inroad, which is when assault rides him. He calls himself out of soul, he gets plus two, and he can intercept. So, you can boost through here, or a good attacker, uh, the starter, whatever. And then, uh, four copies of Inlet. As you can see, this is James's deck that I was borrowing. I made some, twi uh, some minor modifications, but this is his build. I definitely don't have all these high rarities. This is an expensive deck. Um, so for the inlets, because drawing cards are good, so that's one is good to restand. Uh, two shelling because I didn't feel like I needed to run more, and I just liked having that 23 for the back row. It was important. Two copies of this great two. So he retires himself to give 10. Uh, the 10 matters, it makes for better numbers, but in hindsight, I think I should have took this card out. I think this was the play. And two copies of this great two for soul charging if I needed it. It was mainly in here just for the uh, Seraph matchup against Pure Light. Then I run three copies of the Breast Blue, so less one when he attacks and restand. Mind you, this was before set seven. Set seven was not legal in this tourney, so I had to run a Breast Blue. Three of this BG, then four of Trident, which is if fifth battle. You can push him into soul counter charge one. This is important. This deck is CV heavy. Then um, a mixture of crit draw heals here. I ran two of the, the effect heal that says if my opponent's unit has gained a crit viability, gains 50k shield. This was a medical. Um, if you don't think you need it, don't run it. Run the other one. Or for the restanding rear guard attacks or whatever, vanguard attacks, go for it. Uh, for the effect crit, this matters because there's times where you just need to slap this behind inlet so then you get the soul you need to pay for his cost. And um, still KO OT because the attack patterns doesn't really allow for the cradle bit to one. And then three copies of spiritual body. I prioritized the 5k it gives over my other option, which I'll talk about in a sec here. So I'm gonna go ahead and tab over to this. So for the green zeros, like you can just run the other effect hill if you want. Uh, change as many crits to draws as you want, doesn't matter to me. Uh, grade ones. Diantha was a card that came out at six that could have been played for this tourney. So she's a CB1 when placed from hand. Call a card from drop equal to my Vanguard or OS. So this could have mattered. Having a free monster reborn that's from a monster, which is just a kind of monster. I guess it shouldn't say free, but you know, a free monster reborn is good. Then. Um, for the right line, you could run Rancor Chain with House Dragon instead of Pure, or like a mixture of Rancor Chain with Assault, whatever you want to do, uh, it's up to you. I personally just didn't want to run a bunch of orders in my build. I'd rather have everything with Shield, and not so much non-Shield units. I'm already running so many great Ds in the build. And then uh, you could run Adamantis, or the other great two that retires itself to give two stacks of five. I honestly think just all three options aren't to play. You should take them out and not run them anymore. And you could run Kusi as like a one-up, but post set seven, you already have the other grade one wanting that space and you have Shelly wanting that space. So I just don't think Kusi is worth it. Then for grade three, this is a blitz order. So you could run the great cause, which is a blitz order that just gives a whole bunch of shield because you're on flag burn. So that's an option. Then other orders to consider, instead of running, I. Um, Spiritual Body, you could run Frozen Resentment, which is a top three pitch one and call something from drop. I think that's the best play now because 
two of my games I lost because I didn't have Inlet. So, yeah, I would definitely uh, consider running Frozen over a Spiritual Body. And then you can also run Ideal Far Away for more power. But once again, I just don't think power is the play here. This is a combo deck. You need to be as consistent as you can. So I, it's an option to consider. Now I'll talk about my performance. Um, it was bad. By round four, I was X3 and I dropped. There was a total of nine rounds. So game one, I fight Zorga. Everything's working. I have all my pieces. I have my units. I have my persona rights. Uh, I got both my effect heals. Just there was nothing this Zorga player could do to win that. And then great uh, the second game I played against Barrow. It was close. He needed to see a crit to win, and he got it. Um, I can't exactly remember everything that happened in the game. I just know it came down to if he sees the crit, I lose, and he saw it. And then third game I fought Bastion, and, and everything went right for this player. Like, hey man, if you're watching this video, you know who you are. Um, you saw triggers on every drive check, and you hit your OT on your first spring three turn as a Bastion player. So it was just uh, so much advantage that there was no way I'm coming out of it, so I lost. So that feels bad. I'm already X2 by round three, so I'm like, damn, I'm probably already out. And then. Um, my next game, I fought Leonore, and I lost because I made a big misplay. I persona righted and forgot I persona righted. I normally put markers, and I didn't put markers, so I gave the wrong numbers. And then he ended up checking OT offensively the next turn, and I lost. It was another matchup where I just wasn't seeing inlets. So against the Leonore and the Bastion player, I saw no inlets, and... Um, Against the Bastion player, I didn't even get to Persona right that game. So uh, overall, it was a pretty bad performance. I spent a lot of time and effort into this format because this is my weakest format out of the three, and it just didn't pay off. Unfortunately, um, there's better decks uh, like my brother brought Ava and stuff, but yeah, uh, I just had a good time. It just sucks when things don't pan out. You know, just bad luck happens and. I'll catch y'all in the next one. All right, guys, y'all take care. Thank you again for watching. Bye.